Hello guys, I just wanted to make a really quick video on Otocrypt and the F1 Mini Plus. So, um, real quickly I just want to go through and kind of show how you can make this happen. There's a little bit of software you're going to have to download. Of course you're going to want to go to your root um, image and download your, your root image here and make sure that you have the, the latest uh, firmware and um, you probably already know how to do that but under your upgrade uh, you'll just find a file upload it restart 90 seconds and you'll be back onto your um, you know your the latest which as of today's recording date which is uh, January 4th um, the latest one is 12 19 now for autocrypt or any SD card, uh, you'll want to go and uh, proceed in like this. Um, for Autocrypt specifically, you're going to need two things. You're going to need to grab the zip file for the old version, the old SD version of Autocrypt. And you know, you can obviously unzip those to a file location. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is the latest SD version. So you'll, you'll take, you'll get this guy here, and then the other version is you're going to want to grab the, as of the making of this video, the top um, SD version of the algorithm, which is a TAR file, which you can unpack with something like 7-Zip. There's a lot of freeware programs out there. Use them at your own risk. Program this thing at your own risk. But um, you're going to want to unpack this SD version as well. So it's pretty simple. You extract the files, and you should put them in the same location as these zip files. And uh, you'll notice that these have uh, bits or bit streams, and this will have a, a collection of bit streams as well, plus a configuration file. So you want both sets of bit streams, which are all different names, or, and then the configuration file. So then we'll go from there. So the next thing I like to do is go over here to your system and go to overview and um, you can uh, under network you can name whatever you want your f1 mini plus but this is number one of mine so i gave the host name of f1 m plus dash one yours may vary um, i do that just so you know which one you're programming so i'll give that a copy now the next program you're going to need to download, which I would do this anyway, uh, just so that you can remotely admin your F1 minis or F1s or what have you. It's a lot easier than pulling out an SD card, sticking it in a laptop, trying to move files and putting it back. You can just run over the network. So when SCP is a freeware program, use it at your own risk. But the way you'd want to set it up is um, you'll want to select SCP and then Here's where the host name is. You can probably run your IP address as well, but I just use the host name. It's easier, so I, I know which one I'm on. And of course, you're going to do root and root unless you changed your username and password for logging in. Um, you can save that. It's not going to. Uh, we'll go ahead and log in. It'll ask for my password again. So, of course, that's root. And it'll log in. So now, on this side is your desktop, and on this side is the F1 Mini Plus, which, yes, you can screw up. So let's go ahead and talk about the desktop side. When you unpack this F1 Ultra SD, this is the latest version from, uh, from the 1.1 version. And um, it says Ultra, but it's the same bit files. And this is the files unpacked. So you're not going to need the runme.sh, and you're not going to need the FPGA bit list either. Um, and then this is the zip file from the old SD bits. So you'll see that there's four of them in there. I just did this for differentiation. You can unpack all these files into the same location. Now, when you log in your first time, you're probably going to be in root, which you don't want to be there. So you'll see something like this. You want to go up uh, and a directory, and you'll notice you have SD card, and you'll also have the FPGA bit streams. 
So if you double click on here, you're going to see which ones that are loaded to the internal memory for the uh, mini. So as you can see, I've got CKB here only, a bitstream, and then the configuration file. Now, if you run out of space there, you can delete them, but don't delete the wrong things. So that's under the FPGA bit directory. Um, again, this is all on Windows 10, so this is fairly easy. Um, under SD card, this is where you'll place your bitstreams. So as you can see, I've grabbed the latest CG minor audio uh, configuration file and moved it over. And then I also moved over all these bitstreams, which were contained in the latest SD, um, uh, you know, compressed file. And then the old SD bitstreams as well, because I'm not so sure that these new ones are active. There, I have a question in, but um, results may vary depending on the day. So to move these over, you can grab them all at once, but just to show you, you bring them over. Of course, I'll have to overwrite. And it's a matter of just uploading like this to your SD card. Make sure that you're in your root directory of your SD card. Don't go make subfolders, because that's not going to be helpful. Um, now all your bit streams are loaded, and you can exit this program. Now, for me, um, under the internal memory of the F1, if you already have AutoCrypt from before, you may have to delete it out of there just so that you make sure that you're on the new bit streams or what have you um, and put it on your SD. Now I've got you know the two the CKB that's on the internal memory and then I have the AutoCrypt which is on the SD card. I select that. Um, it should populate this out with its pre um, populated pools and you can put in your own address. I think this is to uh, Coinami wallet which you can use and um, you can use different pools if you want. That's up to you. But um, with this saved, um, as you can see, for the last 15 minutes, I've been mining and getting, you know, on a mini, the about the um, 500 mega hashes per second, which was, you know, uh, estimated. So uh, this has been, you know, successfully mining. Uh, hasn't had the issue. If you do not have the other bit streams or the other stuff loaded to your SD card, um, under System Overview, you'll probably get a, um, a socket error. Uh, but uh, if you do use WinSCP and uh, download or upload whatever, both of those um, lists of files for your bit streams and the uh, configuration file, and put it on your SD card. You may need to reboot it. You can do that in the software here. Um, it should come up and run off the SD card without anything on the internal memory, and uh, it should be good to go. So, uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be glad to help, but again, please do this at your own risk. Um, I'm <laughs> not responsible for uh, dead F1s, um, and but you know this is the way I found to I uh, get AutoCrypt SD to work on the F1 Mini Plus.